everybody, this is the Planet Earth. It's currently 2.36 a.m. in the morning, and I'm up because I've been watching good movies and because, um, just that. Alright, so, to the cure to anxiety. Now, a user, uh, IM'd me. I, the more views you get on a video, the more likely somebody's going to give you some real answers. You know what I mean? So... The more users I get on my channel, I got 700 and eight subscribers. Now 710. Thank you guys. I got 710 subscribers. Out of those 710, plus the people that are viewing my anxiety videos, um, I'm I found a private message in my inbox from a guy named Backmoon. And it says, uh, hello, I watched your recent video asking about anything related to an anxiety cure. And I've been doing some poking around, finding information on it, and I think I might have found an interesting lead. Around about 2002, scientists discovered a chemical in the brain called neuropeptide S. It has receptors in the amygdala region of the brain. That's the region in the brain that causes fear and anxiety. And a few other places, too. And when neuropeptide... And neural peptide is put into the brain. It acts as a powerful anxiety relieving agent. To me, this sounds like really good news. You can't take the chemical orally because it would be broken down by the stomach acid. But I have already researched that it can enter the brain by a nasal spray. I don't think human testing or anything like this has happened yet. But I'm actually very hopeful for this because the related chemicals that work on the same receptor would be a miracle medication. If this pans out, it would mean the invention of a safe and powerful anxiety medication that doesn't have the tolerance of things like benzos. I just thought you might like to hear about that. I looked it up, and I will post the link in the bottom of a video, a.k.a. the Planet Earth video. It says, experiments in rodents revealed neuropeptide to con constitute a potential Novel treatment option for anxiety diseases such as panic and post-traumatic stress disorder. However, both its cerebral target sites and the molecular underpinnings of MPS medicated effects still remain elusive. By administration of fluoropornor, uh, conjugated MPS, we pinpointed MPS target neurons in distinct regions throughout the entire brain. We demonstrated their functional relevance in the hippocampus in the CA1 region NPS modulates sympathetic transmission and plasticity. NPS is taken up into the NPS receptor expressing neurons by internalization of the receptor ligand receptor expressing neurons by a uh, complex as we confirmed by subsequent cell culture studies. Furthermore, we tracked internalization of intransly applied NPS at the single neuron level, and additionally demonstrated that it is delivered into the mouse brain without losing its analytic properties. Analytic properties. Finally, we show that NPS differentially modulates the expression of proteins of the gluta, gluta, glutamatric. Hey, that sounds like gluten. Okay, glutamatric system involved inter alia in sympathetic plasticity. Their results not only enlighten the path of MPS in the brain, but also establish a non-invasive method for MPS administration in mice, thus strongly encouraging translation into a novel therapeutic approach for pathological anxiety in humans. I don't know what the hell that means. It's all bullshit drama talk that I can understand. Actually, I kind of do, if you think about it. I have average IQ, just by the way. Um, it's only 116. So, yeah, average. Anyways. What is that saying is... We're getting closer. Thank you, Mr. Um, Backmoon. Um, you know... The more my anxiety videos get out there, the chance of somebody coming up with an actual cure is, is getting there. So, it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's been 8 years. 
since they discovered it. So I'm thinking within another 8 to 14 to 20 to 30 years, there should be a cure for it by then. And I'm not talking about a cure for you have no anxiety ever, because you got to have anxiety. I get anxiety playing flapping birds. After I get like I get to 80 to 90 to 100, I start getting anxiety. I don't know why. It's a kind of adrenaline rush. So that's that's part of the the brain here. So it's called neuropeptid S. This could be a possible cure for anxiety. Hey doctors, where's the stupid camera at? There it is. Doctors, get stepping on this cure, please. Thank you. And, um, subscribe to Back Moon. I don't know who that guy is, or girl, or something, but this comment is really freaking good. And I think we're getting a little bit closer to finding an actual cure. So I'm hoping that we find this actual cure. So let's find that cure, guys. Let's keep working on it. I'll keep looking through millions of web pages and documents, and this guy will keep looking through stuff. I don't know him. And and you guys help me find the cure. Let's find the fucking cure for this shit. I mean, seriously, let's, let's do this. Let's get this anxiety thing under control. Once we get the anxiety under control, then people with other illnesses with anxiety can control their other illnesses or even cure them. We need to find the cure before Pharma, pharma Mama over there is going to get all pissed off because they can't give you Ativan, Xanax, Valium, Clonopin, and uh, Librium. So, Neurotin. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Planet Earth here.